Let me explain something to you ladies. There's different tiers of men. There's only three type of men, right? There's guy A, he has everything. He's the one you see, and or if he slides in your DM, you're like, ah. Oh. So you, you're, you're wowed by it. He has the money, the muscles, the game, and the frame, and he has a strong mental mindset. He's charismatic. He can make you laugh. He could, you know, make you feel the vibe. He's cuddly. He's charming. He's all of that, right? And then he also has the security. You see a future with this man. Like, you don't really have to worry about, you know, you working uh, you working all your life because he has it for you, right? So that's man A. Every girl wants man A. That's the dream guy, right? Then there's guy B. He has a few things that guy A has. Maybe he got the looks and maybe he got the charm and maybe he got, you know, he could dress nice and stuff like that, but he doesn't have the security. He's lacking in keeping a job, Right? He has no motivation to go on Indeed and find a new job. He's always, you know, at this job and, you know, losing that. And at this job, you see, like, these inadequacies in him, like little boy stuff, right? That's guy B. So he's lacking financially. Then there's guy A. Guy A, he has it financially. But he is not charismatic at all. You feel no vibe, right? He has it financially, and he's a... He's an average looking guy, 5'8", you know, a general type of look to him, but he's corny. Like you speak into him and it's just like popcorn, uh, dry conversations. Uh, this is it's no vibe. But why, ew, why are you touching me? You didn't even like work your way up to it. This is weird. You're feeling no emotional vibe from him, right? So here's the thing. You two ladies, 30 and 32, you always was with guy A, guy B, or guy C. You never had guy A. And guess what? Maybe guy A smashed you. He may have smashed you, right? But he didn't give you any commitment. That's what I'm saying. That's the point. So guy A, you can attract him. He'll hit it once or twice, but you can't retain him because you're not doing the things to retain a high-value guy. You're only doing the stuff to retain the lower-tier guys. And I know because all men, we start off as an empty slate. We all start off with zero value. I was guy A. I mean, I was guy B and C. You get it? I was guy B and C for a huge portion of my life. All men start off at guy, usually guys start off, is it a, is it a, a D? Nothing? Yeah, no, I guess it could be a D. They got nothing at all. They freaking eating Cheetos at home, playing, playing video games in their mom's basement. Did you listen to understand or did you just was like, oh, whatever this nigga saying is trash. Do you kind of get the point I'm making? A little I bit? get the point that you're okay, trying cool. to make. I just don't agree with it. Well, but I appreciate your input. You agree with it. You're talking about me like you know me. Well, I know that you couldn't retain guy A. You don't know that. You couldn't because guy A holds the key to commitment, to, 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 to commitments. And obviously he didn't commit to you because you couldn't retain him. You were lacking in certain ways. You act you like men are the yourself. only ones who can make that type of decision in Wait. a relationship on whether or not it works out. Like I cannot decide that it's not right. for me and I can't be the one to end something. Yeah, you ended your last relationship because he was lacking. He was inadequate, but go ahead. So are you yeah. saying that guy A can't possibly have anything that would make him inadequate for her to break up with him? Like she's saying, guy a, she's what saying he would have guy a having those things or whatever. Like if he, you know what I mean? All of a sudden uncheck something or it doesn't meet that extra box that she has, then that's a reason for him to her to leave him. I actually well, well, then guy A sorry. would be, then he would fall into one of the other traits where he's inadequate. In so, you're way. Saying, so, be, so you're saying guy that a if she had always retained guy a. guy a, she would still have him, is what you're trying it, to point. What I'm saying is that all women want guy A. Can I ask a question about that? Sure. A genuine question. What if, hypothetically, I had guy A, but, and actually I had guy A, but my last relationship was guy A, but here's the thing. He was a little bit older than me and he already had children and which wasn't a problem for me, but he didn't desire to have any more. And I still want children. Uh -huh. So as a result, there was no choice but to break up, to go our separate ways. So then does that make so him does not that, guy A? Exactly. That's what I actually wanted to go off of. Like, that's the question I wanted to ask about what she was. Do you know what I mean? 
So guy A already had children. Yes. And he didn't want any more children. Correct. And but you, he had and you everything. Wanted children. Correct. But he had everything as far as the look. He was a man of good character. He uh -huh. was a strong provider, provided security. How long all were that you stuff. in a relationship with guy? About a year. And 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 he didn't want any kids with you. He didn't want any children and any more children in general. Okay. That was it. Like he again, he was older than me. He was like in his mid forties. So. In his mid forties. Mm -hmm. I could like, tell you. And you're, so there was, a, how long ago was this relationship? About two years ago. So you were like 28. Mm-hmm. 27. 27. Okay. Yeah. So you're like 27. Mm-hmm. So I would say that most men, um, if they truly love a woman, mm -hmm. right, and they're going to commit to that woman, they don't mind giving her a baby because men want to spread their seed far and wide. This is generally speaking. I'm not speaking about mm -hmm. that situation. So I'm just right. speaking generally real quick, right? Men generally want to, want to spread their seed far and wide. And uh, a woman that they truly love, they would want to make a copy of themselves with that woman mm -hmm. and have a baby, right? Um, so my perspective on that would be guy A truly just didn't see you as that you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. he was you were talking with talking to him he was hitting it occasionally this is what normally happens with guy a is what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. he's hard to retain like guy a because mm -hmm. he has the charisma he has mm -hmm. he got the charm he has it all so yeah you feeling a vibe you in la la land with guy a and you thinking like okay, you think it uh, I, um you said it too and I said it on my podcast mm -hmm. before. You thinking like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a lock him down. It's, things are going good, and but then it's like, wait, why doesn't he want to concede on this, right? And, on having kids. And I'm telling you, most men, if we love a woman, we are conceding and having a kid. Okay, but right? what if he genuinely does not want any more so children? It could be because so again, it's been two years. That for could so long be good terms. Out, that he could has be not an been with anyone. He hasn't been with. He hasn't had any more children. Like his that children could, are grown. Yeah. So that's the thing. What if he genuinely doesn't want any more children? If he genuinely doesn't want And it had nothing to do with me. He just had, doesn't yep. want more children. That could be which anything's possible, right? Right. So that could definitely be a scenario. Right. So I think maybe in generally speaking, I think if, you know, if a guy is, let's say, okay, if a guy is my age and he's saying he doesn't want any more children, then I could see your point. So. But if a guy is like in a completely different place in his life, you know, again, I was 27. This man was in his mid to late 40s, maybe even early 50s. Yeah. And he had already lived that part of his life. And he didn't want any more kids. So, right. so I would say this, right? Here's some game. Mm -hmm. Just like the guys that are in friend zone mm -hmm. and they're sitting there waiting and hoping for the box, like, because women hold the key to sex. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting there waiting. They're waiting for, you know, your nigga slip up so they can slide in. Or mm -hmm. they're waiting for you to have a vulnerable moment and they can slide in. They're putting in work right mm -hmm. in order to get box from you since men hold the key to sex he had you in sex zone mm -hmm. so your job was to do what you had to do to get the commitments from that man mm -hmm. right so that's one scenario that's what that's the i would say that's the smartest thing to do if it was only kids if he was guy A, and the only thing that you dislike that he didn't want to have kids, mm -hmm. well, guess what? It'll be very hard. You know how hard it is to find another guy A. Mm -hmm. So the advice would be is, well, stick with guy A and mm -hmm. still try to um, see where it goes since it's only been a year. See mm -hmm. where it goes. See if you could acquiesce your behaviors more to make him, you know, acquiesce to then your behaviors and concede. Because relationship is it's a tango. The man leads the tango, though. But a woman can do certain things to gain commitments, uh, to, to gain a, a, a better level, a higher level uh, and, a, and a greater chance to getting, commitments, to getting commitment from the man, right? Just like a man in a friend zone can do certain things like get in the gym, maybe not give the girl, his friend so much attention, you know, maybe uh, work on himself and get a better job. He can do different things to work on himself to get him in a better position to get sex from a woman since women hold the key to sex. So my point to you is that since you had guy A, you obtained him. Mm -hmm. You didn't retain him, but you obtained him. You could have did certain things within yourself so you could gain a better position to get the commitment from that man. Make sense? 